If you've been considering switching to a wireless system for your guitar, you want to stay tuned for this. Today we're looking at a really cool system that was sent to me for review by Fenix Pro. This is a wireless system called the PTG11 and it is a system that is designed to be not entry level, not pro level, but somewhere in between so that you can get pro quality features at not too much money. Now one thing I want to say about these wireless guitar systems is that they're absolutely not all the same and you do get what you pay for. I've tried other systems in the past that were pretty budget and I can guarantee you that they do all introduce some kind of noise when you're playing um, and you want to try to avoid that obviously when you're in a gig you don't want to hear you know the police coming through the the monitors or the taxi drivers outside or the cell phone conversations or whatnot so this system is designed to not do that and some of the features on this system are quite nice. So the unit comes in this really nice protective handy carrying case, molded plastic so that you know it won't get damaged. Let's have a look at what's inside. So basically we have everything you need to get started uh, along with the manual that nobody likes to read, but you should definitely read it. Then we have the unit itself, which as you can see, the, the molded case uh, fits the unit super nice so that it won't get damaged. We also have the transmitter that is required to actually use the unit. Then we have the little adapter plugs. So when you're using it uh, and you're plugging it into the front of your amp, you have a choice of either going with a standard cable or a standard cable with the mini adapter. You also have the USB charger that is used when you're charging the transmitter. And at the same time, you have the power plug that goes into the receiver. You also have really handy connectors that will be able to mount the unit directly to a rack. So if you're using a rack mounted system for some of your other gear, you can integrate this into your rack as well. And then you have two very nice uh, rabbit ear antennas with a, fle uh, a flexible shaft at the bottom so you can actually twist it and get uh, a really nice connection. I like the way the receiver is built. You have a nice solid metal enclosure with these long rabbit ear antennas and you have a beautiful display in the front that allows you to see the frequencies, the volume of the guitar, the fact that you're getting a signal through. Uh, it has an infrared little uh, window here and it even has a nice volume knob that really feels nice to the touch. It gives you a really nice resistance and it feels solid. Plus it has the scan buttons here that click nicely and have a nice rubber pad to them and they have an on off switch. In the back of the unit you have your typical outputs here so you have your your regular mix out plus you have your balanced out and you have an input here for your power now this system claims to have a uh, running distance of about 165 feet between the transmitter and the receiver now of course when they say that and they give you those numbers it always typically means that it's line of sight so if you have something between your transmitter and receiver that distance may be reduced the other cool feature of this system is it does have 100 selectable frequencies. And when you plug it in and hit the, the set button here, it automatically will pair between the transmitter and receiver and select the cleanest frequency for you. Now, if you're playing in a typical venue over and over again, and you know that a certain frequency works best for you, you can also lock that frequency so that you're ready to go the next time around. Now the transmitter takes about two to three hours to charge. It charges with a typical USB connector that's included in the package. And you can tell when it's powered and charging with the little LED lights that are on the front of it. Now they claim you can get between six and eight hours of playing time with the unit. And in my experience, I've gotten at least six hours out of it each and every time. So the unit retails for about $216 Canadian on Amazon. I'll put the link in my description below so you can find it if you're interested. One little caveat to that is that it does have an additional shipping charge when you're buying this uh, in Canada of about $40 or so. So if you're price sensitive, that's something to watch out for. 
Now this system works on UHF frequencies of about 902 to about 927 megahertz. So those frequency ranges are going to keep you out of trouble with additional noise and you won't typically have that issue that you will have with some less expensive systems out there on the market. All right, so we plugged in the system into the guitar. It's actually live. The amplifier is on. Let's listen very carefully so you can hear the sound that's coming directly from the amplifier. You do get some hum from the amplifier. Now the guitar volume is, is off, so we'll turn it up to 10 so you can hear if it makes a difference. All right, so the, it's, everything's up to 10 right now. System is still pretty quiet. I like to make it fade out so you can hear the difference in the dynamics and we'll put the volume down on the guitar a little bit to the minimum. So even with the volume very low, sound comes through nicely. Now you're getting the sound mostly from my lapel mic, so you might not be getting the greatest sound quality, but really I just want to make you feel the nuances of how the system actually performs when plugged in. Now also I want to say that I'm basically in a house where everyone is using the Wi-Fi right now. So there's about probably four or five devices on Wi-Fi, including the computer in here. My cell phone is right here on the desk as well. So there is, uh, you know, a lot of uh, digital activity happening and the system is very, very quiet, even with my guitar on 10 as it is now, still on 10 very quiet, so I'm very pleased with that aspect of this system. Just for the heck of it, we're gonna try a different uh, guitar. This time, the guitar I'm gonna try is, has single coil pickups in it, so you're definitely gonna hear a lot more 60 cycle hum coming straight from the pickups. We switched over to a Strat with single coil pickups just so that you can hear the difference between the guitars with the system. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the volume so you can hear the noise coming from the uh, actual pickups. So the guitar is on 10 right now. So that is on the bridge, which is typically pretty noisy. I'll go in between the bridge. I'm using the, the two, the bridge and the middle uh, pickup right now. A lot more quiet. <laughs> So that gives you a little bit of um, an idea of what it sounds like with a Strat. So one of the aspects about these wireless guitar systems is that the transmitters have to be compatible and flexible enough to be able to fit into different guitar types. So we're gonna try to see whether or not this little transmitter uh, is compatible with some of the guitars that I have here. So let's start off with the Telecaster. Telecaster usually has a little deep recess there and this transmitter has no issue fitting right in and it contours nicely to the shape of the body. Now, of course, if you want it to hang down this way, 
uh, you can opt to do that but I, li I like to tuck it in this way so that it's it's not in the way and it kind of stays put there and uh, has less of a chance of getting snagged somewhere and so when you're dealing with a strat you have the little input jack that comes in at an angle and sometimes the transmitters are not long enough so let's put that in here and see if we can actually get it to fit and it does fit now I want you to pay attention to the height of the unit because if you have a, a tremolo and you're using the bar and you swing it around it might actually hit the unit because it's quite high but if you plug it in the other way if we just do it this way then you have less of a chance of that happening so with Les Paul guitars there shouldn't be an issue because the connection is pretty straightforward although that you have to keep in mind that when you do plug these guys in the the shaft does uh, actually uh, remain offset from the body quite a bit so you know you can get a little bit of spin if you want to do it this way you can have it hang down uh, but I prefer to, to have it closer to the body but it will often spin so that's one of the disadvantages with these type of connectors of course you what you can often do is just put a, an extension cable here and you can actually tuck this in to a little pocket if you can get one and just uh, attach it to the back of your strap and then just plug it into your guitar that's another way of doing it as well so the Fenix Pro system packs a lot of punch. It's definitely punching above its weight class when it comes to wireless systems. So if you're looking for a prosumer type wireless system for your guitar, for your guitar setup and you don't want to pay pro price, this is something that you might want to try and see if it's right for you. So I want to thank Fenix Pro for sending me out this system for review. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm going to continue using it and make sure that I haven't overlooked any little features that might have uh, slipped by when I was doing the review. If you have any comments about this system or any of the other wireless systems that I've tried in the past, please don't hesitate to leave your comments down below. I'm always more than happy to answer any of your questions. Now, if you like what we're presenting here on Addicted to Gear and you like the channel content, Content, please give us a thumbs up consider subscribing it helps us out and if you haven't already done so spread the word we always want to have more people watching the channel watching the content and and basically commenting on our reviews that's why we do it we do it for you so that's it for now guys thank you for tuning in once again and stay tuned because there will be more content coming your way right here on addicted to gear see you soon